What's happening everybody and welcome to the Royal Kennels YouTube channel. My name is Brian and I'm the face behind the channel. This is Lil Mac and he's the face behind Royal Kennels. Y'all, in this video, we're going to talk about a topic that a lot of people ask me about, and that's breeding on the very first heat. Is it safe or when to breed your dog? Should you wait for your first heat, second heat, or until they're two years old? But before we get into that video, man, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you click that little bell notification and set it for all notifications so you're notified every time we drop one of these videos. So Lil Mac, you ready to get right into the video? Give me a kiss. All right, all right. Y'all, he's ready. All right, so I'm not gonna make this a long, drawn out uh, video on this topic. It doesn't take that much. And I'm gonna tell you straight from the beginning, we do not breed on the first heat, all right? And there's a few guys that have given me different scenarios over the years as to why they do. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain both of them to you, all right? So if you're trying to get the bag, if you're putting the bag in the business before the well-being of the dog, there are individuals breeding on the first heat. So I was like, well, you know, why is it necessary? Why can't you wait another six months until they reach their second heat or another year until they reach two years old? And straight up, people are saying, well, the quality of the dogs that are being bred today, their lifespan isn't long. And, and I'm going to say it, you know, straight up, a lot of the exotic style dogs, they're not living to uh, 10 and 12 years old. A lot of them aren't making it to five. So what they do is they breed them as soon as they're able to breed. They don't even let them mother their puppies. And they take over and let the mom heal or whatever, and they sell the dogs and they get the bag. So they're putting the bag before the well-being of the dog. So I'm gonna also give you a scenario that a breeder once told me. A breeder once said, well, if the dogs were in the wild, the male dog would not be going up to the female and saying, hey, what season are you in? Is it your first heat or your second heat? They're gonna breed, the puppy is gonna have her litter, she's gonna whelp them, and they're gonna move on with their lives. So I was like, well, since you put it that way, that does make sense. The only thing about it is for 30 years, we have bred these dogs away from that wild lifestyle. They are now pets and we baby these bullies. You know, they're, I call them like pet bulls. You know, we take them completely out of the wild, generations and generations and generations. We treat them as pets, we baby them, we love them, we treat them as parts of the family. And when the mom does have a litter, we as humans almost do all of the work. But when it comes time to feeding and when it comes time to the actual care of the dogs, they're not even prepared, basically. So I highly recommend you watch your dog. If she goes into her second heat, if she's not mature enough to have a litter, or if you don't think she can handle it, then you go to the third heat. We've had a dog, Hennessy, um, I want to say it was her third heat over here. She still wasn't mature enough to have a litter. And then when we skipped it and waited for her next heat, when she had the puppy, she still didn't want anything to do with him. She did the bare minimum as a mother to take care of her puppies. Her maturity level just wasn't enough, even at the third or fourth heat, to be the proper mother that we needed to be. So. I reach out and I tell people who ask me, you know, like, what do I recommend and what do you look for and um, whatever. And I always say this, if you breed your dog early, you're going to get more of the workload. You're going to have to work extra hard because you're going to have to take the place of mine. If you let them mature, you're not only going to take some of the workload off of you, but you're also... Um, going to have an easier process of the mom being less stressful, um, the mom working less, so you're going to take some of the workload off her as well, and the process is going to go a lot smoother. You're also probably going to save the lives of more puppies, you know, so the risk is a lot lower when you let them mature. As a young puppy, 
when they have dogs in their first heat, if you're not the type of person that's going to take all these puppies away from mom and bottle feed them or do whatever regimen that you do to care for the puppies like mom would, you're going to risk losing a lot of your puppies. It's like breeding a, a, a baby. Not even a teenager, y'all. Breeding on the first heat is like breeding a baby. <clears throat> Not even a teenager. Second heat is like breeding a older teenager. You know, so you look at it that way. When, when we're in this world, in the movement that we are in today, they're not in a while, y'all. They're not in a while. It takes a lot of care. It takes a lot of dedication. And it takes a lot of love and passion to have a successful program and do right by the dogs. Not just get the bag. We all get in the bag. And you're going to get the bag regardless if you do it right or if you rush it or whatever. But if you care about the dogs, you care about the well-being of the dogs, and you care about the integrity of your program, wait until at least the second heat or two years old until you breed your female. And if not, hey, man, to each his own. I mean, I ain't going to judge you. You know, you do what you got to do and you feel what's necessary. I'm just giving you my opinion and where I feel that it's right for the dog and my experience of what I've seen over the year. You ask me, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And God bless y'all. Tell them God bless you, little Mac. <laughs> Put your game face on, son. And look, you also build quality dogs like this. Productions, you heard me? Thank you.